Welcome to round three of 64 bourbons under $100. We are at eight matchups now. Yes, they're all represented right here. What we did is we wanted this to be as blind as possible since we are narrowing it down. So we took the price categories away. We re-bottled these, re-poured them. There is no price category designation on the bottle. They are just matched up previously to what they should be. Mm -hmm. They're all in these yellow rubber bands. There's really no way to tell what's what. So let's get into it. Let's do the first one. With A. Uh, nutty. Yeah, nutty. <laughs> mm, nutty, light, delicious. Yes. Maybe lacking some depth at this mm. at this round three, but I don't know, it's pretty good. It's pretty rich, pretty rich. A little bit of honey, mm. I like it. It's pretty easy, it's got a little spice, a little proof. All right, B, rich, dark, more barrely notes. More berries. More berries, fruit. yeah. Definitely more oak. Yes. If I had to guess, I'd say it might have a little bit more age on it, but I don't know. Back on A, real quick. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. Earthy. Mm. Yeah, after after trying them back to back like that. Really, really, really close. I really like that like nutty, yummy. Yeah. A's got like more going on, B is just like dark. And I like that. If they could tie, I would tie them. But I'm gonna give it to A. Fine, A. Okay, okay. A it is. Ugh. Advancing is Knob Creek Single Barrel. It narrowly beat out Bellmead Cast Strength oh, Reserve. I do love the Bellmead Cast yeah. Strength Reserve. Oh man. Oh, next. next. <laughs> All right, another one poured up. This one's A. Let's get at it. A little funky. Oak, earthy. A little cherry, licorice. A little berry, yeah. Herbal, I don't know. I like it. Not what I was expecting on the palette. No, not exactly. Now I'm like, what are all these? I don't even look at the bracket because I'm like, I don't want to remember. What price category is this? I, I have no idea. <laughs> all right, B. Musty. Yeah. Mustier. But I still like it. It's got a got a vintage musty on the nose. This one's drier, a little prickly. My initial thoughts are A has it on the mouthfeel, but B has more flavor, and I think I'm liking where the proof is sitting on B a little bit better. Now they could be the same, A could be more, I don't know, but it's coming through that way. I don't know. I kinda think I'm leaning B. B's less dry the second the second time when I went back to A and then back to B, it's less dry. A is nice, but it's softer. A little bit more muted. It's pleasant, but I think B might have a little bit more to say. I'm going with B. Yeah, another real close one, but let's do B. I okay. think that's the. And the winner the is 1792 foolproof uh. against the Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Ooh, Bourbon. Wow. I love that. Round one. three. Also, 125 proof versus a 96. Which makes a lot of sense. I said that I thought A came off softer. I liked the proof on B. Right. The matchup, obviously, some people will say, you shouldn't have put these two against each other. We didn't do it. The bracket did it. Bracket did it. Matchup number three. That's like a different type of wood, like cedar or something. Yeah. If I didn't know any better, I might say that this one was finished. Uh, Maybe a double oak. Could be a double oak. I stand by that. Mm -hmm. It feels very toasty, vanillas, marshmallow. Ooh, almost like a little bit of mocha too. Oh, nice. B. Not so much on the nose. A little bit of peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter and uh, honey tea. Oh dear. Oh wow. Oh, here we go. Oh, this one's a lot nicer on the palate than what it was doing on the nose. I want a second sip. It's nice. I feel like it's uh, mid-proof. It has a nice mouthfeel. I feel like B is a little one note, but it's a really good note. Mm. And compared to A, which I feel like is a little bit in the same boat. I'm gonna go with A. I think it has a little more depth. Um, uh -oh. I was thinking B. Okay, here we go. So let's split A little it. split. A little split. Well, Sarah, you chose A, which is early times bottled and bond. And I chose B, which is Old Granddad 114. Interesting matchup. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and bring our tiebreaker in right now. I don't want to wait till next episode, Chad. Let's yeah, do it now. Let's find out now. Let's try A. Good brown sugar, nice heavy, oak tannin, spice on the nose. Got a little bit of a chocolate, cocoa powder. Really enjoying the brown sugar, the spice. Very quintessential, delicious. So let's move on to B. A little more rye heavy. Getting like some earthy, musty sweetness, but definitely getting a lot of malt on this. Butterscotch, caramel, toffee, I mean, it's very rich. I have made my decision. I'm gonna go with A, which is, holy crap, early times bottle in a bond just beat out OGD 114. That's an upset. All right, well, there's your answer. On to matchup four. Matchup 
On to round four. This is Bourbon A. Yes, mm. this nose. This is rich, compelling. A lot of wood notes on that. I like it. That's bright. Not a lot of proof perception. Mm. I was so wrong last round when I said that A was a double oak. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> this one also has a lot of wood on it, though. I could be convinced that this one was. I'm not reading that, but again, who knows? B. Mm, oh, that's, more spices. Yeah, spices and sort of savory. Not what I was expecting. A little muted. Yeah, it's good, but... Sort of sweet, like a, like a frosting, like a donut. Donut glaze. Uh -huh. These are very well matched. Very good matchup on this one. Mm, Flavor-wise, um, very similar. Yeah, I'm gonna give the nudge to A, though. I completely agree. All right. What do we, we got? got? We chose Four Roses Small Batch Select <laughs> against 1792 Small Batch. Okay, good, that makes sense. 1792 Small Batch is a wild card. Four Roses actually in its price category, I believe. I believe. All right. Well, hey, now's the perfect time to answer some frequently asked questions. We get asked a lot, hey, Chad, where did you get that shirt? It's available at whiskeyambitions.com. And they say, hey, Chad, sir, where, Sarah, where'd you get your shirt? Also, Whiskey Ambitions. I'll say, where'd you get your glassware? Whiskey Ambitions, are you sensing a theme there? Uh, for the rest of our glassware, hats, hoodies, other t-shirts, and a new stock of bottle cut candles, it's at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night, which is usually the only place that you can get our barrel picks, our single barrel picks. Mm -hmm. You can sign up for as little as one buck a month. That's right. Okay, you're gonna take a little break. We're gonna take a walk and get some crackers. Then we're gonna go back for the back nine. See you then. Technically, it's the back eight. And we're back and about to get into matchup number five. So, you know, we took a break, we hydrated, took a walk, ate some crackers, because four, even with small sips, is a lot. It is a Just lot. Just so you know. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 oh, nom. yeah. Oh, yeah. The caramel vanilla. Caramel it's got vanilla some spice, spice on there, some cinnamon spice, the barrel. Woof. Gingerbread cookie, like, really good. And it's on the mm. palate, too. Wow. B oh, has B's a... got a lot of work to do. Mmm, that's... Oh, oh. The majority of the description of those was just noises, Sarah. It was. I want to point that out. Mm, uh, ooh. Ooh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Also good. I get some fresh apple on this one. I get a lot of fruit. Raisiny, berry. Mm, yeah. Orchard. Vanilla orchard. Putting up a good fight. Hold up. Hey. Drink bourbon every day. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was... Ugh, man, everyone is turning out like this. Yeah. But I will say, without back and forthing on it yet, that this one... Uh, doesn't have the richness that A was bringing. Doesn't have the mouthfeel, doesn't have the syrupiness. Perhaps. You go back to A though, A also has more perception of age after coming off of B. I do think it's higher proof, which I'm enjoying. Got a nice little uh, finish on it. Has a little bit more earthiness, a little uh -huh. bit more wood tones uh -huh. to it. B's great. B is great. But a I gotta go A. We can split, you wanna vote B, go no, ahead. No, I'm gonna vote A. I yeah. like the perception of age. That oak is really nice on there. Okay. What do we got? All right, so advancing for us is A and A is rare breed. Oh wow, it took down Weller Antique 107. What a match. I feel that, I mean. Wow. Rare breed had it on the proof. Dang, okay. Next? <laughs> All right, round six. Only three more to go after this. Get it. Well, including this one. Yeah. Hmm. Light, say, hmm, lemony. Every time. Have you noticed? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. Pondering. A little bit of like a barnyard thing going on. In the air tonight. Oh, it's nice and delicate. Very approachable, very easy. It is delicate and light. It does have that like wood that's been left outside, but I kind of like that. B. B. Very oh, that's rich. darker. <laughs> that is darker, isn't it? Rut row. Uh, rich brown sugar. Rich brown sugar. Desserty. Wow. Well, this one's easy. That's very easy. This one's very easy. Sorry, I mean, A. Sorry, A. You're great. You are great. But don't Man, drink it next to this one. This one has just depth and the richness and the oak and the, it's just got the boom pow. The boom boom pow. For me, it's B. It's B. B is Peerless Double Oak against Maker's Mark 101, which makes total sense <laughs> okay. as to why we feel this way. Okay. I do like Maker's 101, but yeah, Peerless Double Oak, it kicked that ass. It did. Number seven, hope this one's as easy as the last one. It will be lucky. Blueberry jam. Wait. <laughs> Straight up blueberries. I probably haven't had that on any one of these before. Sun tea or something. Ooh, I like that though. It's Whoa, that's di Whoa. It has a little bite. <laughs> this almost tastes like a finished or a, yeah. Some... It bites you back. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bourbon that bites back. If this. That's more floral. Close your eyes and ears. No, I'm just kidding. If it isn't that, then who am I? And what am I doing here? 
on this show. Oh, you said you did a prediction. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's also light. I'd bet money on that. Oh, I feel like this is from a cat. Okay. I know what category this one's from. <laughs> They're both nice and light. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to A-B test here because I don't know what's what. A's got a punch. You think of that high proof? Yeah. Mm. I think so. It's a Mia high proof. It yeah. does have quite the finish on it. Well, if I have to choose, and my contract says I do, I'd have to lean A. I like the flavors on B, even though it's a little, so maybe a lower B. proof. I'm going B. Well, well, we're split again. I'm A. Advancing for me is benchmark full proof, not a surprise. And advancing wow. for you is Old Forester 100 proof. What? Yeah, hopefully you said that that was Old Forester in your little aside to the I audience. did, okay. I did. All right, all right. So you know what that means, we're split. Let's bring in our resident split decider, Chad Watson. Let's dive into A. Leathery, a lot of black pepper, and there's a little bit of a like toasted coconut. Palette does not match the nose. Very silky, very sweet, a little mapley. It's it's kind of kind of breakfasty. Waffle batter. Let's move on to B. B seems a little flat on those compared to A. Honey, graham cracker, pie crust. Brightens up a little mint. Florally, definitely getting like a little red berry in there. Made a decision. I'm actually gonna go with B. Old foe 100. Wow. Yeah, old foe 100. Heck yeah. All right, well, there you have it. Straight from Chad to Chad uh, and on to the next one. It's the last one, folks. It's eight. Here we go. It's bourbon A. Musty. Mm, but fruity. But also a little bit like almondy. Okay. Easy. At first, Lemon. there's a little bit of harsh bitterness on towards the finish. I don't know. You wait there. Let me, I'll come back to you. B. More. 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 <laughs> more is the headline. A little bit more cakey. Desserty, sweetness. Everything's E. Uh huh. Cakey, desserty. More pro pro profession of proof. Oh, but just as light. Just Very as light. Very light. Oh, almost a little watery. Almost. I think going back to A after B will reveal all. Yeah. Pretty close. Neither mm -hmm. one really shouting out, but I think I gotta give it to A. It's just got a little bit more there. I'm definitely giving it to A. Okay. I think it has a little bit more to say. We've got Old Granddad Bonded. Old Granddad Bonded Bond against Bullet. Okay, okay. A little so bit this of proof is the, difference. This is, I was like, why do these taste so yeah. watery? And it's because we're back, we've <laughs> we're, tasted we're a lot in, that, in all these yeah, matchups. We're back, we're back in, in 25 that. and under. Yeah. That makes sense. It does make uh, sense, I was like, yeah. wait, what happened? <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely feel like A on this one. Well, that wraps up round three in one episode. Are you proud? Now we're going to round four and five, and then it's the finals. But those will be quick too, because we just keep getting more narrow. <laughs> yeah, just just stay with us. <laughs> yeah, we're thanks, almost there. Thanks again to Chad Watson for being our tiebreaker for this episode. Make sure to follow him on Instagram and YouTube if you like at My Daily Bourbon. If you haven't subscribed just already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.